Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Market Pulse. My name is Ajit Mahali, the founder and mentor at LearnPriceActionTrading.com. Uh, let's take a look at what uh, the index has been doing for the last week and is likely to do in the coming week. Uh, based on the monthly chart, after a strong and bullish monthly uh, October monthly close, uh, we started moving up uh, this month. But remember, this is still a live candle. We have had a lot of rejections from these price areas, which we'll see on the smaller time frame. Uh, but if we break through and November close is bullish, then we will have probably a new demand that is formed here, which we can go long at for maybe higher targets. But uh, all that will be decided uh, once we close the end of this month. Uh, so far uh, on the monthly chart, the, the demand zone is still here. That's the monthly area of demand zone, which we are going to rely on. Uh, this demand zone will depend on uh, how we close this particular month. Uh, on the weekly, if you take a look at it, uh, there is no supply zone, though we have some pivots here, uh, but prices have always been uh, rejected from this area. We, we have formed a new, uh, probably a new area of demand zone on smaller time frames in this weekly demand zone. And that's probably the next area of demand zone where uh, uh, some longs can be taken. That's the weekly area of demand zone. Uh, the, main, the best area for us to go long is, is still here. Uh, it all depends on how we close the uh, monthly chart for November on the index. Uh, no supply zone, but uh, this week it has started with uh, some uh, negative price action. Uh, let's take a quick look at the daily chart. On the daily, that's the area from where prices have uh, fallen uh, after hitting an all-time high. That's the daily supply zone. Uh, and prices have reached there. If you take a look after this uh, move down, we had a very strong gap up, but the momentum is uh, not there for prices to go beyond uh, this as of now. Uh, we will see it as this week progresses. The next area of demand is still here at about 17,800. It's about 500 points down. Uh, so that's the supply zone. If you see the supply on a 75 minute chart, we'll have a clear. Uh, so there are two supply zones here. The first one is here, which is the most important supply zone. Uh, and the second one is uh, at this area at the edge. So we are into this supply zone. Uh, it needs to be seen how prices react. Once we start closing below this low, that is 18,250, we could expect a bearish move at least up to these areas from where prices have gone up for short term trading. Uh, shorts uh, are going to be a little aggressive, but have very good uh, reward to risk ratios. Long don't have any, uh, longs have very low reward to risk ratio. So long should be kept more or less uh, as an intraday or a short term income. For swing traders, uh, if you are um, uh, a risky trader who likes to take risk, you can get into some swing shots here. Uh, don't get into full position size. Uh, you need to ensure that uh, you have enough room, uh, 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 enough margin available to create new shots, or you can look at some March options. So uh, critical areas, uh, the index to the trend is up. Uh, this week and this month will be crucial for or what the index is going to do. Uh, if you take a look at uh, the India VIX, we are pretty low uh, on the uh, India VIX, and that's also not a good sign with this kind of low volatility in uh, uh, India VIX. There is a good chance that we could see a bounce up in the India VIX leading to uh, move down in uh, the uh, Nifty index. Right, so uh, cautious approach towards Nifty. Uh, intraday longs okay. Uh, longs don't have enough reward to risk ratio. Swing shorts uh, can be taken with smaller position size and add more as we get more and more confirmation. Uh, let's take a look at what Bank Nifty has been doing and is likely to do in the coming week. So Bank Nifty again uh, hit a new high this month, uh, but it could not sustain the prices there. On the monthly, this is a possibility of a new area of demand zone that is um, 
getting form, but uh, it will be only for short term income. Uh, the, the real demands on that uh, is still with bank nifties here at about 33,000 based on the monthly chart. All right, so uh, this is something that we'll have to look at based on confirmation or smaller time frame for uh, different trade types. No supply zone, but at these areas, prices have got consistently rejected. Uh, on the weekly chart, uh, no supply zone, all time high. But this week again, uh, we started with a very uh, negative undertone. Uh, prices were not able to breach uh, from last week's high, but we still have about four trillion dollars uh, to decide what Bank Nifty is likely to do. Still, the demand zone is here, uh, which is going to be the best demand zone for us to take some swing longs if you are interested. Uh, prices are pretty overextended from this demand zone. Uh, this week and this month is going to be crucial. I'm not going to be very aggressive on getting long here other than maybe intraday or uh, short-term income. So pretty overextended, uh, right for a pullback. The daily chart, if you see, uh, after we went beyond uh, past that all-time high, the momentum is very weak. Uh, if you see here in this area, there is no great demand areas that you can rely on other than uh, probably somewhere here or here on smaller time frames. So enough room for Bank Nifty to retrace back. Uh, if you see this, all this is a weakening of the momentum uh, in Bank Nifty here, and you should be cautious about going longs. If you are long, ensure that you keep uh, your keep trailing your stop losses. Uh, immediate for short term income, maybe this is the area where Bank Nifty might uh, will be good for short term income trades at about 14, 41,350. And based on smaller time frame, that's still the same area of demand zone which we'll be looking at uh, for longs, so pretty overextended, uh, loss of momentum. Uh, Longs, low probability and low reward to risk. Uh, shorts, uh, high reward to risk, uh, good probability, but we need to wait for some more confirmation since uh, prices are trending up. Uh, so maybe a closure below 41, 42,000 will be a good confirmation for you to start looking at some uh, shorts uh, up to first target of 41,300 and second target of 40,900. Uh, as a uh, quick uh, income trade. 